problem five. What is the value of the following summation, right? And and in this case, right, we have basically the sum of the odd, the sum of all the odds, or sorry, the sum of all the odds right here, and then we subtract by all the evens. So let's rewrite it. That's one plus three, plus five, plus all the way, um, all the way to two thousand nineteen, and we subtract by parentheses two plus four plus six plus all the way until 2018. So let's just find the sum of each separately and then we should be good. What is the general term for this series? Well, a's of n in the arithmetic series is a's of 1 plus n times 1 times d. And a1 is the first number and d is the common difference. The first term here is 1 plus m to minus 1, the common difference is 2. So that's equal to 2n minus 1. In other words, the first term when n is equal to 1, right, be 1, and when n is equal to 2, right, it will give me 3. So we know that this is the correct summation formula. But now I have to find the sum. Well, the summation is equal to the first term, right, plus the last term, right, times the number of terms divided by 2 for, for an arithmetic series. What is a's of n? Well, a's of n is equal to 2019, right? If that's the case, then 2n is equal to 2020, and therefore n is equal to 1010. So we have 1010 terms starting from 1. So in other words, this summation, right, must be equal to 1010 times 1 plus 2019 divided by 2. And for now, just leave it as is, because we are still going to be doing the summation for all the evens, and we can simplify the fraction all in 1. So in other words, what is the equivalent of 2 plus 4 plus 6 all the way to 2018 in comparison um, to 1 plus 3 plus 5 all the way to there. Well, we do it with the same thing, right? a's of n is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times 2. But in this case, that's equal to 2n, where n is equal to 1 and etc. Now, 2n must be equal to 2018, right? So in other words, n must be equal to 1009. I have 1009 terms, so the summation for the evens will be 2 plus 2018 times 1009 divided by 2. Now, we need to subtract the, uh, the S and written in black with that written in red. So in other words, this is 1010 times 2020 minus 2020 times 1009 divided by 2. We can factor out 2020 and we will get 1010 minus 1009, which gives 1 divided by 2 gives 1010. So your final answer would be answer choice E. Now that just goes to show the importance of not simplifying and simplifying at the very end. It saves you time and that's what you should do for this question.